so ready for the weekend. I know you are too. Our funologist Tracy.com is here again on Thursday. She's got all the great events happening around town. All right, are we doing selfie? Because uh, right. the reason we're doing that, yes. there's a reason. Tell us about it. Okay, so you heard, if you were tuned in earlier, you heard uh, Carrie talking about today being National Selfie yes. Day, and we we're trying to break a record. So if you go to Hemming Park, mm -hmm. take your lunch break and go to Hemming Park. They have plenty of food trucks down there. And at 1245, exactly 1245, be there to take a selfie and post it on Facebook Ooh. with the hashtag Jack's, Jack's World, World record. record and hashtag Jack's Selfie Queen. And all we need is 100 people to break that record. That's it. That's it. So if you know somebody who's working downtown, call them right now and tell them go to Hemming Park so Go to Hemming Park today. and do it. That's great. Oh, I would love to see her break this record. That would I be would so too. fantastic. Ugh. All right. So that's the first thing that's happening today. Also, starting tomorrow, the coming out monologues. These are always so good. These are great stories. Yes. So great. So Kyle Sieg, who used to be one of our fellow WJXTers here. Um, he is one of the organizers of this, and it is Friday at 7 p.m., Saturday at 1 and 7 p.m. at WJCT Studios, and it's $25 on Eventbrite. Now, these are people who are gay, lesbian, transgender, transsexual. They're telling their stories, and some of them, as you can imagine, are heartbreaking. Uh, some of them are heartfelt, and, and you know what? Some of them are just humorous. I mean, there are, you know, tragedy plus time often equals humor. So That's right. you get really the big gamut of it. But one of the things I do want to mention is all the money goes to Jasmine and PFLAG. And PFLAG is something new on my radar. It stands for uh, Parents, Family, and Friends of Lesbians and Gays. Because, you know, there's uh, when, when this is kind you have in your mind the idea of how your child's life is going to go, a lot of times you're stuck going, uh, what's going on here? And so they provide that support. I, 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 both of those charities are fantastic. And that, I have to tell you, the, the, uh, the coming out monologues, are, uh, they're just wonderful. I cried, I laughed, I did yes. everything when we went to see them. The other thing happening that's uh, Friday through Sunday is the Laramie Project. Now, the Laramie Project is, also, I don't know if you've seen the movie, but it's about uh, a young man who was going to the University of Wyoming who, because he was gay, was taken out, beaten, and left for dead on a fence post. And it is an interview with 200 different residents of the town. And again, it's, it just runs the gamut of people changing their idea of what they had prior to and understanding all humans are part of humanity mm -hmm. to people who just flat out won't change the way they think. So again, just a, it's a really it's a really good thing to um, to attend. And Five and Dime always puts on a great show. Fantastic. Okay, the other thing going on, Luke yeah. Bryan is finally back in town. Mm -hmm. I know. Why do I feel like? You know, it's so funny that you do that because I, I automatically feel like I need to, like, move when you have I a say favorite song? Yeah, I mean, I have, like, a, a bunch yeah. of them, you know? I mean, but they... I got that real right? good. That's exactly hey, what I... And if, exactly and if you don't have I'm a date, I, I will gladly be your date for this tomorrow night at 7 p.m. at Veterans Memorial Arena. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I've seen him uh, the last two times he was here, and it was just great every time, and, I, and I'm... Planning to go tomorrow. All right, night at the zoo, Friday okay. night fever. Yes. So um, I brought some video, my home video of mm -hmm. my nephew. There's Sam. He was afraid Aww. to feed the stingrays, and then he finally feeds them, and of course he gets uh, gets splashed as a as a oh. reward. Um, but yeah, so uh, night at the zoo is at night, obviously from 6:30 to 10, and they have their dinosaur um, exhibit there as well. And they'll have food trucks, costume contests, and you're supposed to dress in the 70s because the boogie freaks will be your musical oh, entertainment. Oh, how much fun. All right, so that's a lot of great stuff mm -hmm. going on around town. You can always check out her Facebook page for more fun stuff, and we'll be right back.